So, there's this idea in the world that China can do it too. It's about China's fifth generation aircraft, the J-20, later on. Other countries started making their own fifth generation stuff. Now, we are onto the sixth generation. The J-36 has had a great ride now. So countries are competing with the latest stuff recently. South Korea's Hanwha Aerospace Corporation made a video about their sixth generation aircraft concept, saying they're using it. This new fighter has a cool twist, a twin vortex engine with a tailless delta wing. It seems like it's aiming to break China's and the US's tech dominance. But when you get closer, you'll see it's still in the trial prototype of the KF-21's five generation brother. It's also important to mention that the J2O isn't even into service yet. There's a whole scene a decade ago where countries were lured into buying China's fifth generation stuff. In 2017, the J20 came out to play and Japan's late cap video is showing off some of their own sixth generation stuff, but they still use parts from the US. So watch out China, cause your sixth generation aircraft is still getting built off the shelves by the US. This whole competition scene is kind of a mirror to see how China's industry is growing. It's also showing off how countries are affected by other countries' choices. But then watch what happens when India's AMCA comes out. India has to work with the US to get their jet engine ready. At the moment, South Korea's sixth generation aircraft is still waiting for American parts. China's got their hands on 200 J20s. Even this isn't an easy ride. And as you can see, it's not an easy competition to keep up with. And there you have it. China's been leading the way for quite some time. There's still a lot to figure out.